I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. December has absolutely flown by. I think it's the fastest December I have ever experienced in my life. It's a really extra special Christmas because it is our baby's first Christmas. And we're just excited to experience all the festivities with him and just feeling extra grateful this year for everything that we have been led through. And, you know, bringing a little tiny baby into the world, very, very tiny, presented some challenges to us. And it's been a really tough year in a lot of ways, but we're just so grateful looking back that we have this beautiful, healthy baby boy. One night recently, we went over to my sister's house for dinner. And this house is extra special to us because we actually lived here for a year and a half. We rented the upstairs and we just had the best time with my sister, her husband and their kids. And these are just memories that I'll cherish forever. It was one of my other sister's birthdays recently, so I went to one of our favorite local spots to find her a cute little gift. I wanted to just compile a few cute things into a box for her. And then Sunday rolled around and we went to church on this very foggy, misty day, which I really like actually. It is a very cozy, rainy day out. It's kind of gloomy, but I really actually like this weather. It's really nice and cozy, so I'm excited for just a cozy evening tonight. I haven't decided what to cook, but I've just been out and about. I went to Michael's, got a few cute things, got some picture frames for grandparent gifts for Christmas, and I'm gonna go pick up the prints in a little bit and stop at a little shop in downtown that I love. I also got a tree skirt because I don't have one yet. Um, I didn't love this one, but I needed one. I mean, we have like seven days till Christmas and we needed a tree skirt. So got this tree skirt. Also, all the Christmas stuff was half off. Um, I got this ribbon 
for also for gifts. I do little simmer pot jars for Christmas gifts. This is my second year doing it. And then some really beautiful picture frames for the grandparents. And then these tags to go on the simmer pot jars. So yeah, they're really cute. This was one of the things I could not resist. I want to tie this around gifts. I just love this kind of old fashioned style and it's velvety and it's just really cute. I'm stopping for a tea and water at McDonald's. Unsweet iced tea with lemon, best thing ever. And I am driving a truck. I drove this truck for a long time and I got used to it. Never got used to parking it, terrible parking it. But this drive through is so narrow and it's making me so nervous. <laughs> I decided on this cozy rainy night we should have chili and the last time we made chili was a bit disastrous my husband wanted to try to make it and unfortunately he did a tablespoon of salt instead of a teaspoon so it was barely edible unfortunately <laughs> but we redeemed it and this one tonight was really yummy I pray that no matter what your Christmas or Advent season has looked like, that you would take great hope and joy in the message of Christmas because it is for all of us. And even amidst a world of so much darkness and suffering, there is a light, there is a bright morning star. He is present, he is alive, and he is good. Merry Christmas, friends. <laughs>